Hi everyone. I wanted to show you this little uh, art journal book that I made quite some time ago following Crafty Loops tutorial and I'll put her link below. She does a wonderful tutorial. This is uh, a small book and it doesn't have very many pages in it. I used denim to, uh, for the cover on the outside and I stamped on that denim with some script stamp and uh, some Kaiser stamps I believe and as you can tell this is a voiceover so it, <laughs> it's not all going to match up here. I'll embellish it when I'm finished with the inside. Um, I also used manila file folder for the pages. This is uh, some painting I did following Peter Dranitson's uh, process using the sponge and I'll put his link below. Um, he uses a sponge and that's what I did here, uh, just playing around and experimenting with it. It has it's been a while since I watched his video, probably early last year sometime. And uh, I did cover these pages with gesso first and uh, I'm using some yellow paint here. I had gotten some new paint at a yard sale this past weekend and I did just sit down and play around with the paint. I'm showing you the paint now. It's uh, Liquitex. We got some other bottles of stuff there like um, Blaze for uh, clay pieces and this is the uh, yellow paint that I'm putting on right now and then I put on this uh, next color. I'll have to figure out what that is. I it I didn't read it. <laughs> and the idea is just to pounce a sponge all around and uh, try to blend in the colors. It's uh, it's fun to play with. And uh, I have a little bucket of water right there next to me. And every once in a while I'll dip my sponge in there and rinse, rinse that sponge out pretty good. So I can continue uh, try to do the blending process. It, it was kind of difficult to record this and edit because it is a lengthy video and so I had to uh, edit and cut out a lot of it so it wouldn't be too long and too boring. Of course I had to speed it up too. Okay there's burnt sienna and uh, yeah I got a really good deal on all those paints. Uh, it's just a few dollars. I, I did have to throw two of them away because they were old and dried up and uh, even here right at this point where I'm at I don't have a clue what I'm what I'm doing or what I want to do or what I'm trying to achieve I'm just putting color down and trying to blend it the best I can and of course you know looking back now even after this I, I have a better idea I wish I had done something a certain way and so on and you know I guess y'all might go through that same process again and uh, I just put the sponge there and I'm going over now to lighten that up and you can see what it does when you rinse your sponge out and then pounce back over it it's uh, it does lighten it and the page gets really wet but uh, it, it also allows you to work with that paint a little longer as well and it's cool. And uh, I'm still trying to figure out. I think at this point right here, I, I kind of get an idea that uh, I'll use that as kind of like a sunset. So uh, that's all I know right now. And um, uh, the rest I'm just still trying to figure out as I go along. Here's some green paint 
and uh, it's called Hooker Hooker's Green and I mixed it with a little bit of water and uh, just gonna make some little trees and grassy area There's some branches sticking out there on the right. And uh, <laughs> this, this was a lot of fun, y'all. I really enjoyed doing this. Makes me wish I knew how to paint. <laughs> this is a little piece of cardstock that I'm showing you now. And uh, this process I saw on another channel, and I can't for the life of me remember. But I squeezed some black paint. It was just regular black acrylic paint at the bottom corner there. And I bent the card, and I'm just dragging up uh, that paint to make some trees and tree limbs. And I'm pretty sure y'all have seen this process in other videos. Um, I love trees, and I love the trees that are gnarly. The more gnarly they are, the better I like them. And I guess that's why I like this process of doing this. So I'm adding some more black acrylic paint there, and I'll just make another tree of some kind or another. <laughs> it's easy to get carried away, I tell you. <laughs> so uh, I got a little card there and I use that to make some smaller impressions. I think what I was trying to also come up with here is is a kind of a sunset effect and uh, I don't think I have the colors in, that I that I should have but uh, it was just just experimenting having fun and I enjoyed it And I'm going to put some little branches coming out from the left and the right there. Those are fern trees. Make-believe fern trees. This is this is going to be like a, a bit of a fantasy type. Because everything that I'm doing is, is not what you would consider actual real life. The trees and everything else. Uh, the flowers that I put on there. Uh, it's not any kind of a flower that you can recognize. I just added flowers and the reason I did is because you can see right here at this point it starts to, it's really looking like a Halloween and it probably would work really good for a Halloween uh, image but um, that's not what my intentions were. I didn't want a Halloween so um, I wanted something of a, a spring or summer effect. So I'm using a little white piece of uh, it's that uh, gauze that used to uh, like a band-aid gauze and uh, I'm just dapping some little white flowers all over getting uh, it, some flowers on there. See that little stretchy band-aid? That's what I'm showing you there. That's what I'm using. Just dabbing it in the white paint and pouncing it around for some little flowers. Trying to brighten it up so it wouldn't look so dark and gloomy. <laughs> So right here I, I mix some more paint, uh, I think it's kind of a blue and a white and maybe some black 
and I'm just trying to get a bit of a effect like nightfall is closing in as the sun is setting so uh, I'm just edging all around using the, that color and um, I also decided that uh, I needed some clouds so here I go making little streaks of clouds across the setting sun and uh, I'm just pouncing that sponge all around trying to soften it and blend it a little and I uh, keep adding a little bit to the clouds trying to soften the top part of the clouds and uh, eventually I do add some white to the top portion of those clouds to soften those clouds up a little And you know that uh, the pages are made out of manila file folder and uh, it really held up under all of this paint and water. So I'm adding a little more green here to uh, fill up some of that places with some greenery. And I think this is where I was adding some white on the top part of the clouds to soften them up. And uh, now I'm taking a paintbrush with some little black paint and going to make some centers in the flowers. And uh, another thing that I did to the flowers that I don't have a, uh, I don't have it on video is I did uh, Add a little bit of pink to the top part of that, uh, the white part of those flowers. So they have a mixture of pink and white at the end. And uh, right here I'm adding some birds in flight. And uh, Put a little tail feathers on them. <laughs> Here's some green acrylic paint. I think that's called forest grass green. And I'm just adding a little bit to the top portion of the branches there as, as a lighter green. And uh, then I have some darker green that I'll eventually add to the bottom part of the branches. There's a little, two little branches sticking out there on the right hand side and on the left hand side. I didn't even, I didn't title this at all. I haven't decided yet. Uh, if I was going to put a title or label it. Maybe just put a little note down there saying having fun. Because <laughs> it was fun to do. So I'm ready to try it again. Maybe do something a little different. Okay, I think right here I was adding some of that darker green on the bottom part of the branches. And now I'm adding a little white to uh, highlight the branches and the bird showing the uh, reflection of the light. And, uh, at first, I do put that white on kind of heavy, and then I do go back and tone it down some. And I don't know if you can 
really tell, but when I use that folded card to make the uh, trunk of the tree, you can see it puts a, a, a strange look in it. It's kind of like bark that you see on a tree. So uh, I really like that effect that it does when you use a folded piece of paper to spread that paint. And right here I, I'm taking the, some black paint and just kind of uh, giving some more uh, dimension to the uh, limbs. Now these are some Inka Dinka Do stamps that I have. And uh, I started out using some Distress Ink and it didn't really show up very well. Uh, so I went to uh, using the Stazon ink and it does come up a lot better and I'm just uh, stamping some underbrush along the bottom Okay, right here I'm using the same little white gauze to uh, make some boulders all around the bottom of that base of that tree and a few boulders on the left side and I'm using the uh, burnt sienna paint and I mix a little bit of white in there occasionally and just kind of pounce it around. I'm not sure where I'm going with this yet. but. Uh, uh, Eventually I do kind of give it more of an outline and try to give it some uh, highlight. And right here I'm taking that other sponge and pouncing it, trying to smooth it out and blend a little bit of it out. But you know, some of that, uh, some of those stamps that I stamped there did resist a little bit of that paint, as you can see, and uh, it gave a pretty cool effect. Right here I'm using black acrylic paint to uh, do some edging all around. can see I did use some white acrylic paint for some highlights at the on the top part of the rock and I did use a, a white pencil and now I'm toning that down a little because it's a little bit too much so I'll tone that down a little You can see some of that uh, brush in front of the rocks. And uh, got a little too much highlights on the tree, and I'll tone that down again as well. And uh, right here, I'm adding some leaves around the little flowers because uh, it's kind of bare. And I would think that uh, if a flower is growing somewhere, most of the time it has leaves around it. So I'm adding some leaves and then I go back and I add some more of a lighter color green on top of leaves to uh, just give it some highlights. And uh, I, I don't remember if I mentioned it, but I add a little bit of pink to the top part of the white flowers to give it some color. So um, this is a picture of what it looks like finished and um, yeah I'm kind of happy with it. My very very first experience doing anything like this. I've never painted a scenery before. Uh, using the sponge I thought was a lot of fun. It really allows you to be creative and um, it's very imperfect. <laughs>
but it was a lot of fun and I hope y'all enjoyed this thanks for stopping by y'all have a great day bye bye